So more on the ocean or at this moment. Make sure you get his plate too. What was that? We got a lot of citations up in there, motherfucker. Woo -wee, he's got a book of citations over there. He's got a green one, a pink one. A yellow one. <laughs> wow, dude. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I can't hear you, but this guy has like five citations, dude. He's got a green one, a pink one, a yellow one. At least five, five citations plus. He's taking pictures of them and booking them right here. Who is that? Is that lions? I want. Don't talk to him. Chief Lions, don't talk to him. How you doing, bud? I'm doing all right. Yeah. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to speak here to your buddy here. He won't talk to me. Because I just told him, don't talk to him. Oh, you're telling him not to talk to me? Yeah. Hey. How are you, man? I'm doing all right. 
Yeah? yeah what, what's going on here? He's taking the guy's picture and everything. Um, he's releasing them on a summons. We do t we, when we release somebody on a summons, and um, what's he getting hit for though? He's getting hit for. Um, what are you getting hit for? Um, I'm not sure. You're the chief, and you don't know? Oh, did you? Yeah. Wow. My own stuff. So your sergeant on. The, he was pretty good though. He handled us pretty good. It's the first time I ever got you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just glad I knew you. You heard what I got arrested for Saturday night? I heard you got arrested, but I didn't know what was for. Filing a complaint on a Manchester police officer. Is that a false report? Yeah. Yep. You believe that shit? What's going on, man? What's going on, man? How are you? I've never met you, but... How no, are you? you usually... I mean, we have good report. Why are you telling this guy not to talk to us? Because usually you don't talk to police. But, what? but... But you're you're okay. Yeah, he's, you're okay, he's, Chief Lyons. He's had to sit down already. So. Yeah. Huh? Oh, is he's that like the big? Is already. that the big thing that you were on my YouTube channel to no. sit down? No. 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 I I I <laughs> give that a give it a second thought. Yeah, I, I was we were doing cop chasing in Rochester, and they said I had a warrant for my arrest out of Manchester. Who did? Huh? You? Yeah. So uh, they transported me, and I didn't know what the hell it was about until I saw Detective... I had to stay away from Detective Aaron Brown. I'm like, oh. I filed a complaint on a Detective Aaron Brown two months ago. They, they charged me for filing a false complaint on their own officer. Huh. Yeah, it's not going to fly. Huh. It's not going to fly. So, so I got a lawyer that's interested in the criminal case and interested in the civil action after the fact. So. What was the complaint, didn't you say? Or? Yeah, I, I got charged for filing a false oh, complaint. what was the complaint that you made? Oh, uh, hindering the press, hindering right to record. Oh, yeah. You know, the standard. They're not, yeah, they're bullies over there. They're not like around here where you guys just talk and, you know. Community policing is good. Yeah, right. I mean, seeing the ballistic vest, that kind of draws a little something. What's that? This? Yeah, seeing the Kevlar, yeah. That's just so we can you take it off. combat oriented on us over here in Mobile, huh? Yeah. Well, you know what's funny? It's the same exact thing he's wearing under his shirt, except I can take mine off whenever he reports. That's why I like it. So, where you, what, what, so what, did, what did he get arrested for? Oh, he had a, uh, he had a jar of marijuana. So oh, marijuana possession. Well, he wanted to know why we were taking his picture. I was told that you released him on summons rather than... Rather so he than processed him right here on the sidewalk? Get back in business. Well, don't, do you guys even have a room to process you, yes. Oh, you do? Yeah, we, oh, right. we do, but I mean, there's no, you know. But why why tie him up? Why We're trying to be, you know, friendly. And um, yeah. there's no sense of tying him or us up, either one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what was the question? Um, are you still living up here uh, by oh. Smug? Oh, no. I oh. kind of heard rumblings that, you know. There's stuff going on over there even after I left, so. We'll just we'll keep it at that. Yeah, um, it looks like I might be getting the baby, everything. Yeah, on really? the 30th. Oh, yeah. So, who's your friend here? This is, uh, this is my buddy Chris. He's part of New England Cop Chases. Okay. Um, Chris, have a, have a last name, or? I'm not going to give that on the air. That's up to him to give it to you, not me. Okay. I'm, not, I'm no snitch. You can, you can cut that out. I'm not a No, I don't edit. You know that. I don't edit, I don't cut, and I don't alter my videos at all, man. They get dropped raw. Straight out. In fact, when I file complaints, I actually JP a statement at the court and JP it under oath saying I don't cut, edit, or alter my videos in any way. Raw video, man. What it covers my ass. What are you guys doing today? I, had a, I actually had a meeting with the lawyer in Manchester oh, yeah. for my, my case. Um, trying to get that all well, handled. We won't ask you too much personal stuff because we don't want you. Don't want yeah, no, no personal stuff? Yeah, usually I, I air everything out anyway. I'm an open book usually. So you're just coming back through then? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got a, a so whole trunk so load of funny illegal that, aliens. And can you tell me if Chris is a transplant or is he a native New Hampshire? You're going to have to ask him that. I'm not going to answer native, for him. You know, can you say yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> He's killing me. <laughs> What do you guys get me tag team in here on both sides? Yeah, man. Oh, You're right. sandwiched. I'm... Wow. This is Yosemite Sam. <laughs> it's an old Mexican standoff. Man. He's he's on this side, he's on that side. It is, it's a Mexican standoff. So you want to get this... one side. At least you don't have your hand on your gun like Rochester did. That was scary. That dude was like, 
Is your name, is your name JP Matt Phillips? Unbuckled it. No lie, man. Wow. They knew who exactly who I was. I'm You're like, famous, huh? Uh oh. Yeah, you know, I went to the booking process. They were actually pretty decent. Hey, you have your blues on back there? No. What about what about safety? Well, you know, like, we're clearly in the emergency lane. I mean, people call up here to drop the sample all the time. We're good. Okay. That's what's nice about here. We got nice wide shoulders, you know. Yeah. Any problems with the jail lately? As far as no trespass orders and people hanging out and protesting. I haven't. I have, I'm not aware of anything. No. You know, I saw. I happened to see the process of one of those uh, correctional officers, the sheriff's department, changing the battery on a monitoring device on an ankle thing. Yep. Downtown, like off of Church Street in Keene, one day, and it took them an hour and forty minutes to do it. The wow. process for that is ridiculous. You have to monitor it, and then when it go, it comes back on. You have to re-register it through the system, and he has to make all these calls. I mean, what taxpayers' money, man? An hour and forty-five minutes just to change a battery on a monitoring device. I need to get somebody maybe that you, can do that like lightning. Maybe you guys should have monitoring devices. That would save us all the trouble of following me all the time. <laughs> so you want us to make another stop for you or what? No, we got to get going. He's, oh, he's on, got a radio gonna, show to do. Another stop for you. He's got a radio show. You actually, you're going to look and profile a stop on camera. Like you're looking for a stop. We are on you patrol. Want, you want to stage that shit? You're on patrol. All right. All it's right. Like that truck right there is unregistered. We could have stopped him. How did you know that? Because I looked at the stickers. What if he didn't put the stickers on yet? How are we supposed to know that if he didn't turn them on? If he, if he renews his registration, what doesn't he his, have... What about his inspection sticker that was expired? How do you know that he doesn't have a 10-day window on that because he needs to get something fixed? Well, since it was February, it's now May, you get 10 days after the end of the month to get inspected. Okay, so one if he's waiting for a part from like the dealership, like let's say it's an O2 sensor. Yep. Okay, and we wouldn't pass inspection because he didn't pass submissions. He would have a clear two, and then he had paperwork that goes with it to say what date he has to get it fixed by. Okay. That one wasn't a clear two. So. I love these guys. They're making such a, I mean, they're making good points. Well, we don't stop people who don't do anything wrong, but he was clearly had the wrong stickers, you know what I mean? What, what do you define wrong, though? Victimless crimes or people that are actually breaking the law? Like, what did you stop the guy with the marijuana for? What was he stopped for? Uh, inspection. So you stopped him from inspection and then you saw the marijuana next was, to him? It was sitting on the passenger seat. It was just sitting there. Yeah. Here we go again. It's that, that story, okay? If you want to transport drugs that are that the state deems illegal, why would you be driving a non-legal car? Like, this is what happened to Demo, right? You heard about the, the co-founder of CopBlock.org, right? He got stopped in Ohio with 25 pounds of marijuana for a taillight being there. Serving time, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's another one of those don't you guys things. don't you guys don't you guys have like somewhat of a high overdose rate here heroin going through Malbo? well there's you had two questions you had do we have a high overdose rate and then heroin going through Malbo? do you just mean people overdosing yeah people overdosing and heroin actually present in the town itself uh, i don't think we've had an overdose knock on wood for, not for several months we haven't yeah for several last months. year we had a couple yeah, yeah. i mean it's had, you get small towns. Harrisville's had, had some deaths. Harrisville's had a few. Yep. And they're smaller than When's us. When's the last so. time I talked to you? Was it about? I called you about the state troopers showing up, right? The the EOD bomb unit and shit. Was that last summer? I think you did call me about that. Yeah. I'm trying to find out what was the, because they they blocked off the street. And they wouldn't let me in. Some guy had like a gun in the house. Where was was that? Um, it was up here on was the left and a bunch of stadies. Drive? Yeah, like about 15 stadies with the EOD showed up and yeah. ordinance disposal. And, oh, it was it was, it was was a guy that died and one of his family members found a bunch of stuff in the house, right? There was supposedly stuff in the house. Yeah. We just, it was a, it was more of a safety thing to go through to make sure there wasn't Oh, so it was just a walkthrough. 
yeah, always oh, okay. check and bring the dog through. And okay. Nothing was ever found. Yeah, because we're like, hey, you need to let us in there. And they're like, I oh, know. Something's going on. Yeah. So. So this is what you do all day. Just you two just. No. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. If I told you some of this stuff, you'd probably laugh. Oh man, your wife was blowing your phone up the night you were with me. You were like, I need to get out of here. <laughs> He's like, she's getting mad at me. I'm like an hour late. She's got supper ready. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you better go, man, because that's dangerous. I know that feeling. Cool. No, we have a wide variety of things that we do. Um, I've been dealing with a lot Secretive? of Secretive? Uh, no. No, math? Nothing. Were you stuff. gonna say math? No, I was gonna say that we're dealing with a lot of uh, mental. Um, oh, stealing. Mental of health of issues. Me mental health issues because. Um, When's the last time you guys had an eval? <laughs> we got hired again. Right? I might need one. <laughs> <laughs> you never. You, you don't talk to MFS at all. Have an on-site counselor for all the shit you see. Did you, do you guys must have seen the sleeping cop video? I have. Do you like normally go on my page and watch my videos? How do you even know about that? You know, sometimes you get little things come through the street. Like what? Like who? Who told you? Come on. Hey, I can't reveal all my sources. Come on. It's an open page. You can tell me who saw it. It's just common knowledge. I mean, it gets around. Really? What did you think of that? Office of Dean Wright sleeping in the car, JP catching him. Like, oh my god, fucking JP, man. Did you see that video? Winchester oh. Police Department, two Saturdays ago, I caught Officer Dean Wright sleeping in his cruiser for over 20 <clears throat> minutes, man. No, I know you were in Winchester, I don't know, a long time ago, but I haven't seen it recently. Are, are you a, a part-time officer there too? No. What were you in Winchester for? Were you working there at the time? Just passing through. How did you know I was there? What? How did you know I was there? I saw you. Really? In my own, I was, no, I was in my own car, not like oh. in a prison. Do you live over there? No. No? Well, he's got a girl over there. Man. But you, you know, wear stuff like this, you're pretty, pretty recognizable, I guess. Which is good, so you don't get run well, off. Well, I, I, I thought you were going to come up with a stop sign and go like this or something. Really? Yeah, with well, no. that color on, yeah. No, I just, I just, I want to be clear, clearly marked as press, so if you have cops like what Manchester's doing, they have no, they, they can't say, oh, he wasn't clearly marked as press and blah, 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 and he has to explain to a jury why he infringed on my, pretty much every right that I have to record him. No. no every know? time I see those colors, I think he's going to come up and stop. And then, and then his lawyers have to sit down and figure out a number of how much money they're going to owe me. Like, like the situation they're in now. No. They've been literally, he got arrested at a DUI checkpoint for recording a month ago. Um, they've been interfering with, with us almost in every single stop. Every single stop for the past five, six months now. Would be like, I was over there video recording you. They'll literally look at me across the street and walk up the street and make me move all the way down the end of the street. And not only that, they'll call three more offices to make sure I keep stay there. Well, see, we don't have three more officers. Well, I know, campaign. but but yeah. but Glick versus kind of specifically outlines interference. So let me ask you something: How many police departments come up and talk to you? Like you I would say maybe three or four, mostly the small towns. Small towns do. Yeah, the little towns do. Um, Vermont, almost all of them, except for Bell's Falls. Bell's Falls run like little coward little bitches. Yeah, they don't stick around. I ask him questions, they just take them. Even not being nice to him, they're like, hey, how you doing? They roll up the window and they're gone. Winchester, they're a little bit standoffish, but they definitely don't like me now. No. Mike Tarlett will. Michael will sit down and talk. He'll chat with me. But that's about it. Cameron Pryor used to. What's he in Richmond now? He's in Richmond now, right? Sure. Richmond cop? No, I know he's not a Winchester cop anymore. Really? He resigned two weeks ago, yeah. It has to do with college or scheduling or maybe how delusional the chief is. The guy's out of his mind. Chief Lyons, I'm telling you. That guy's out of his mind. He's gone. Why do you, why do you say that? 
I was sitting in court on multiple occasions and seeing him go in here to like request for warrants or whatever. He doesn't know the date. He gets dates wrong. He doesn't even know what day or, or proper paperwork to file. You know, doing it this many years, it should be second nature. I think he's literally has something wrong with him. Like I'm actually concerned for his safety, to be quite honest with you. He just doesn't sound right, man. You know? And I'm not I'm not a psychologist or psychiatrist or anything but by any means but I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to figure out he's he needs to retire like five minutes ago for sure in no one in no relation by the way even though we spelled the last name same you know I didn't even think about that now, now you bring it up I get picked on a lot at the court hey how's your how's your grandfather doing really they tell you that yeah. that's funny <laughs> I'm like, no, he's not my grandfather. I actually share my last name from my stepfather. It's not my my father's last name. My biological father. It's not a father. I ran into somebody in the hospital and they has the same last name as me and they asked me what it is. Um, they get asked all the time if we're related. And I didn't even know they were. I asked, there. there's a kid in, in Keene, Jimmy Lyons. It spells like the same exact way. Are you related to Jimmy? Jimmy Lyons? No, I have no relations anywhere in New Hampshire that I'm aware of. Really? There's other people that have the same. Man, you probably have like me. probably 25 kids running around in the amount of years you've been here. You just don't know about them yet. No paternity. No, I'm not as bad as no. you are. I'm not as bad oh, as you are. Oh well, you're following Stop Free Keen now. I don't have nine kids. They're full of shit. I have five, but not not nine. Oh, it's 11 now. It went up. You have 11 kids? Well, that's what Stop Free Keen said. Yeah, I have 11 now. It went from nine to 11. Yeah, so I don't know where so how these... How many do you really have? Five. That's good. Yeah. yeah, five. Two were the previous back in the early 2000s, late 90s era. They're in their 20s. Wow. Yeah. Um, two with Heather and one with Jess. Hey, you ever going to get your license straight now? Yeah, I already finished uh, two of them already. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I did a Worcester's all, Worcester's all set, Fall River's all set. Now I just got to deal with Vermont and Rhode Island. And that's it. Yeah, reciprocity kicked me in the ass in 2015, man. Mm. I was able to get a license here until reciprocity kicked in. Oh, yeah. When reciprocity kicked in, that's when they suspended me. Mm. So, yeah, $1,100 later, you know, at least mass is taken care of. Yeah, just recently, too. So how come you don't have a press shirt for Chris? What's that? How come you don't have a press shirt for Chris? They're coming. Uh, David just got his, and it takes like two, three weeks because literally uh, there's press print on them, reflective on both sides. Yeah. And um, you see that? We should get back. Just came up with it. Don't want to be associated with cop block. That's just some of the things he's doing. I don't agree with the the, the way the the home pages run. Their rhetoric. I don't agree with their rhetoric, and I don't. And they bait. They bait cops. I don't like baiting cops. I think it's a dangerous fucking thing baiting cops. You bait cops, you're literally subjecting yourself for them to plant shit on you to look through you and infringe on more rights that you have baiting them. I don't agree with like unscrewing the light bulb. Now I'll fuck with you. If you play with me, I'll mess with you legally, you know, verbally, and like go back and forth with rhetoric talk, but I'm not gonna bait a car and I did I did during the college season two years ago walking around with a brown bottle and a and a paper bag to get, you know, you know, open container bullshit but we're getting a reaction over here. Chris is probably he's probably mm -hmm. reacting. Yeah, uh, you know, I did do that once, but that's been, the only time been, I ever baited. He must have been in it with you. No, no, he's 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 fairly new. He's, he's, well, you gotta give him a press shirt. And, uh, gotta is, that, is that a lawful order? I have to get him a press shirt? No, I'm just, I think, to, you know, to go along with what you guys are doing. I think How do you know he doesn't want to be a member of the press? How do you know he just doesn't want to be a regular citizen with a camera? Nothing says you can't do that. Is it? You know, I don't even know if he wants a shirt. I know David really wants a shirt. Our other partner definitely wants a shirt. I, actually, is his in? You know if he got his shirt yet? He said in two weeks, I was like three weeks ago. 
Huh. Yeah, there's a bunch of us. Are you guys mostly happening upon stuff now? Um, well... Like today you said you are just coming back. But. Yeah, we're coming back from Manchester uh, meeting with my attorney about that bullshit charge. And you know, you know, Chief Lies, that's a bullshit charge, man. You can't even tell me that it's not. That is exactly what I'm charged with, exactly why I'm charged for it. Pretty, like, pretty, it's clear. pretty tough for us to, like, judge that, though. You know? Without having all the facts. In it. Yeah. That is the facts. You know what I, I mean? filed a complaint and they're saying it's false. That's basically what it is. You, know, you can't get around it. It's black, clear cut, black and white. And I'm getting one of the best civil rights attorneys in the state, and he's saying, yeah, this is. I would assume John they have Meyer. some sort of reason. They you know John Meyer. He's the one who won the, the Supreme Court case with the Sasquatch thing up on Mount Mananon a few years back. The free speech. <laughs> I've never heard that. The guy running around in the Sasquatch suit. In uh, State Park, you get you gotta Google it because I don't know all the facts of it. But all I know is, I'm sorry, where was it? Mount Mananoc State Park, I think. Don't quote me on it, but the guy was running around in the Sasquatch. They they arrested him for it, and he argued free speech, and he won. Yeah, you can you can. Is he just trying to get a rise out of people? Believe it or not, the U.S. Supreme Court actually says people can walk up and down the street wearing military uniforms, thinking they're captains in the Marine Corps, and there's not a goddamn thing police can do about it. It's free speech. Hmm. When did that ruling come down? Oh, five five years ago. It was a Californian case where a guy was walking around and you know, Hmm. a captain in the army. So it's U.S. U.S. District Court over there. Yeah, so they charged him with an unauthorized use. I mean, not unauthorized use impersonation, but he was also charged by JAG, by the military. So not only did it get shot down. Because he had the uniform on and he wasn't part of the military? Yeah, so they shot it down as free speech and it was unanimously decided that any member of the public can buy uh, uniforms. So they probably just can't act on... They have to. They have to official. defraud. They have to be in an action of defrauding the government as acting in in, in a capacity as a captain of the, you know, right. the armed forces. So you forces. couldn't. You couldn't wear the uniform and try to get something out of it, or no. He. Can, you can tell people that you are a captain. You can lie about it. You can wear it. What if you get some sort of benefit out of it? Does that that would make it illegal. So like, if you got yeah. someone raised money for you because you yeah. said you were disabled. Yeah, that's illegal. That's illegal. Yeah. And you obviously couldn't. Just enjoy doing it. Yeah, that's illegal. Yeah, you couldn't probably... Yeah, you, you, he wasn't in an act of defrauding the government. Okay. Uh, but it's it's labeled free speech. Um, Are you ever going to let him talk to me? And see, I'm, I'm not in control of him. No, Trust me, I can't control him. I can't control him if it's in my life. I'm going to call you Sergeant JP over here. <laughs> oh, no. But he's got to get the no. shirt so you guys have a like, uniform. No going, authority you know? figure whatsoever. Is it is some decentralized. There's nothing, uh, there's nothing that's going to incriminate him. Well, he's 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 a uh, he's a principled libertarian. A principled libertarian. Yeah. I've never heard that one. That's a new one. And plus, both of us, you know, well, me anyway. I'm on bail, so it's probably you know, not actually, good. You know, actually, it's good. what's that saying about it takes less mu- muscles in your face to smile than it does to frown? He that can smile. He's, he's having a good time. Part. He's not enjoying this. Something. He's really, he's really, really struggling not to he's, speak to me. He he's wants, enjoying he wants to this. Me. He does. Yeah, he's enjoying this a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he wants to answer me. <laughs> I can tell. He's smiling. I wish they had the two-way camera. So, what, na- what nationality is that? I want to say it's English Scottish. Oh, okay. Not a whole lot of us around him, but English Scottish. Well, biomes. Yeah. English Scottish is basically what our, the American language is built on. Like all our slang is all English. I just mean you can't, you don't usually see a lot of Bayam last name, you know what I mean? Almost sounds like, like, Asian. Bayam. I don't know about that. Bayam. Anyways, well, he's he's got a radio show to do, so we got to get going. He's got to drop me off at home. Yeah, that's so. too bad. We were gonna we were gonna go back to work for you. I mean, well, well we can't we can't take their whole day up. I mean, you you have you have us going to the car, pulling out, and then if if he doesn't put on his blinker on coming on, I don't know. We might right. have to pull. So. There, there you go. <laughs> that's a cheese ball stop. Yeah, man. What? How lucky are you? You get a freaking inspection sticker and weed out of it. What do you do? What do you do with the marijuana? You let them keep it? No, you have to destroy it. Yeah. You're not gonna bring it home and roll it up and. <laughs> nope. Nope. 
Lions, you're not you're not gonna sell it to a dispensary, get some money for the city. Oh they got it. <laughs> no. My understanding that stuff's gonna be like all sterile and So what's real. the process of that anyway? Do you have to turn it into the state attorney's office? County attorney? Our drugs? The drugs you take like you just took out no, of that we car. We incinerate them. They're not gonna use it for evidence? We use it for evidence once the court proceedings are That's done. what I'm saying. Where does it go between then and It goes and to our PD in our evidence room. Okay. It's locked up. And then after all the court proceedings are done, then we can uh, destroy it with a court So do you, do you have to label it for the county? Or is there a DA, DEA stipulation you have to use? We have our own prosecutor that handles everything. Yeah, I know her. We just, we just, yeah. we just file a motion to destroy I call her. I call her the guardian off. angel. Huh? The guardian angel. Yeah, the yeah, prosecutor. Yeah. You're, a, you're a town prosecutor. Are you talking about Martha Jakes? Yeah, Martha. Yep. She's a guardian angel, man. I'm telling you. She refused to prosecute a case one day in district court because the person's lawyer wasn't present. So she dismissed it. <clears throat> Good. Yeah, Burke didn't like it, but she still did it. Well, it's it's nice that we got people like that working for us, I guess. Yeah. How's, how's, uh, how's her last operation? Is it all right? She's still Good. Um, yeah, she seems to be alright. Matter of fact, they called me this morning. She's doing good. Oh, yeah. tell JP said hi. I will. Yeah. I will tell yeah. Alright, guys, have a good one. Alright. I'll Chris, see you around, man. Take care. Hope to talk to you someday. Le leave me alone, though, okay? okay? Yeah, it won't, it won't take up your whole day, anyway. Good places to be. Uh, yeah, I bet you you're glad to get out of the conference. Yeah. yeah, what's up with the 1988 Crown <laughs> One six eight three. You just give me a call back number. I called the number. There's no answer. Is that right there? Are we right in the area? It's one thirty. Well, one fifty nine. You know where that is? Yep. Who that is? So this is probably like we said, one of those mental health things. So, um, you guys are welcome to come with us, but I, w I wouldn't. Film no, no, we don't. We don't do. Uh, yeah, we don't do civilians. Person, it, it's if, it, if it's a safety issue. Hey. Hey, man. Peace. All right. Take care, guys. Yeah. Be safe. Yep. Pretty good.